Hi guys, I hope you're all having a great day. I'm really, really sorry I could not upload a new lesson yesterday, but that's because my grandmom was unwell, so I was a little busy with that. But uh, in order to make up for it, I have got a great lesson for you today. As you all know, the purpose of this entire course is to make sure that you add at least 100 new words in your uh, daily lexicon and you're able to use those words. Up till now, I am reading all of your comments and I'm trying to reply to most of them. Uh, before I begin, all these words with uh, the letter C and tell you what these roots are. Um, I just wanted to take up a couple of comments. Raghav Kumar, uh, special props to you because Raghav is the only one who has actually bothered to write and uh, explain the difference between an autocracy and a democracy and I'm glad that he was able to uh, do that homework and actually complete it. Guys, you all know that I'm checking it and the reason why I'm giving you these small tasks is basically to enhance your learning skills if you go out there when once you listen to my lesson and once you complete this task I think it's uh, easier for you to remember these words so try and do it and so thanks Raghav I have actually replied to your comment and uh, if you can give me the difference between an autocracy and a dictatorship that would be great too uh, somebody called uh, Abhishek Singh Chaudhary has a very interesting question. Abhishek says that while the root AUD, it means to hear or listen, but words like audacious, which is spelled as A-U-D-A-C-I-O-U-S, audacious, it means bold and it is not related to hearing at all. That is absolutely right, uh, Abhishek. And the thing is that uh, the roots that I am explaining here, of course, these are the meanings of these roots and in a lot of it's usually let's say a certain percentage of words in English uh, it might be easier for you to identify the meaning using this obviously in a lot of cases uh, it might be different words that start from these uh, roots it uh, really might not have a similar meaning but like I said English is a funny language the more you know the less you think you know that's why we always have to keep trying so before wasting any more time let me quickly move on to the next alphabet that is C. C I'm taking two roots here uh, cap C Abhishek your point on gets answered here also here CAP or CIP stands for head for instance decapitate which means to cut off someone's head or precipitate which means to rise suddenly precipitate also means the precipitation outside when we say it's raining it's precipitating right I think it was a term that we learned in geography while we were in school but uh, that's the thing with English the same root CAP CIP again over here it can have different meanings like here cap here stands for to take or to seize. Matlab kuch lena. So here we say deception, which is cheating. Capacious, which means spacious. Captivate means to enchant or to capture. So in all the words, I have specifically chosen these words because despite the fact that these are the roots, the meanings of these words is very, very different. So that's the way it works with the English language and uh, therefore we have to try more. So five new words, guys, we have learned here. Decapitate, precipitate, captivate, capacious and deception. I have mentioned the meanings of all five and I want you to make a sentence using all five. I mean, you don't have to use all five in the same sentence, but make one sentence each from these five words. So I need five new sentences from you and I hope that these are five words that remain etched in your memory then. Next is carn, C-A-R-N, which stands for flesh. So the words we have is carnal, that is physical, Carnage, which means mass killings. Incarnate, which means embodied in human form. Uh, reincarnation, a very, very popular term in which in Hindi is referred to as Punarjanam. Uh, so this is what incarnate means. So in I think in this case, uh, the root Khan is actually expressed in all three words. So in all three, we somehow understand that, yeah, this is the context in which these words must have come. So if in the exam you are asked a question, you can definitely, I hope, uh, uh, select the correct answer. The second homework here for you guys is that you need to find two more words using the word Khan, using the root Khan, and uh, you can please share those words in the comment section. Next is Chrome. 
and the word after that is kron so guys focus on the pronunciation here while c h r o m is chrome which means color c h r o n is pronounced as kron which means time so words from chrome are that i have taken here are chromatic and monochrome uh so chromatic means related to color anything that is related to color becomes chromatic and uh, monochrome means single color so i'll give you an interesting incident um while i was working at femina magazine we used to have a lot of these clothes that used to come to our office that various designers used to make and uh, some uh, once i saw this dress that was completely black in color and then once there was a dress that was completely white in color so something like that becomes a mono chromatic dress so it's something that's a monochrome or a, mon a monochromatic uh, ensemble which means that it's of a single color uh so an all white some if somebody is wearing an all white dress right so it becomes it's it's a monochromatic look that that person has single color that's how you can use it chron or time the words that i have used are chronology chronic and anachronism now chronology is an order of years so let's say uh when we say that we want to know the chronological order in which uh, the uh, bjp was in power in india right so if we have to put it chronologically we will start from the year 1947 since india got independence and from 1947 till 2017 the person will calculate and uh, look back and figure out how many times the bjp was in power so chronologically if you have to answer that you have to start from the very first from the beginning so that's how the order of years chronic is long lasting chronic also a lot of times doctors say that this is a chronic sickness uh so that's also how it is used uh give me another word for chronic this is a this is the third homework that i'm giving you guys uh give me a synonym for chronic in this case anachronism which is the last one is again outdated person or thing now a quick test for you in the previous two alphabets in the previous two letters a and b i had you used uh, two words using the using this root um and you need to tell me where the words were used where the meaning was outdated or old fashioned there were two words that were used and i had explained the meanings of both the words so you have to go back to those lessons find those words for me and tell me i know i'm giving you a lot of homework guys but trust me it's for a good cause next is side c i d e which means murder the words that we have are homicide regicide and patricide homicide means when you kill a human being it becomes homicide regicide which of course was prevalent uh, in the earlier times is when somebody kills a king when you kill a king it it's it's referred to as regicide patricide means when you kill a parent so when you kill your own parent god forbid if that happens but that is referred to as patricide uh, if somebody else kills your parent uh, i'm sorry i'm that's a very very bad example um, but yeah if somebody else kills a person who is somebody's parent then that is actually homicide because that person was not your parent so if a human being kills his or her own parent then that becomes patricide okay moving on cred uh, which means trust or believe uh of course the first word that comes to my mind with cred is credit so because you trust or believe the banks trust us that's why they give us the credit but anyway uh next is uh, the words that we have used here uh that's they are incredible credulous and credence uh credence means belief credulous means ready to believe even on uncertain evidence so there is actually a thin line of difference between these two words that is credence and credulous that's why i'm asking you to use all these three words in a sentence because when you make a sentence from this you will be able to understand the difference better incredible of course it means unbelievable and if i have to use it in a sentence i would definitely say that all of my students on an academy are absolutely incredible but credulous and credence uh there is a reason why i have used these two words so please use them in a sentence and tell me the difference between these two 
Next is cosm or cosmo, which means world. So cosmos, of course, is the world. Macrocosm is the universe or the entire world. A lot of times people say, uh, people refer to the universe also as the cosmos. But uh, I guess you can use these interchangeably. Next is Kalp. Uh, uh, of course, I can think of a word with that, which is culprit. Kalp, which means blame or fault. Uh, culpable, inculpate and exculpate. Again, very, very interesting. I am not going to be telling you the meanings of these. Uh, by telling you the root. Now, Abhishek, uh, I had mentioned you in the beginning of the lesson. A lot of times, the roots may have a different meaning and the words that we create using these roots may have a different meaning. So, what you have to do here is, I have given you the root and I have given you the meaning of that root. First, you, and I am also giving you a hint that all these three are related to crime or punishment. What you have to do is to guess the meanings of these three words, culpable, inculpate and exculpate. Find the meanings, guess them using the root and then you can check it online what the real meaning is. Once you do that, share it with me tomorrow. So all of you who, who are listening to this lesson, do the small exercise along with all the other exercises that I have given you in this lesson and share it with me tomorrow. And only and only if I get your answers, uh, when I check all of them is when I will be sharing my next lesson with you, which is going to be of words, uh, which uh, begin with roots that start from the letters D and E. So if you want to uh, go on to the next set of words, and guys, I have a lot of other lessons that I have planned in this course. So if you want me to move forward, you first have to help me a little and give me these answers. I will wait for your comments. I hope all of you have a great day. Thank you.